Hey, what is up, guys? It is Tema Cookie here today, and I've got a new video out for you guys today. So, um, what this video will be basically teaching you how to do is how to downgrade from iOS 8.1.3 to iOS 8.1.2. Many people have actually updated from iOS 8.1.2 to 8.1.3 uh, because there, it does take up not as much storage space, and you know there are some bug fixes, things like that. But unfortunately. It does patch the um, iOS 8.1.2 jailbreak. So, uh, as of now, as of the time of making this video, there is no current jailbreak available. There actually have been rumors going around there is a Pangu 8 jailbreak. Uh, unfortunately, it's not from the actual Pangu, so it's not a very reliable source. But uh, luckily, Apple is still signing iOS 8.1.2 because they have a large time before they actually. Uh, stop signing it so you know there's a about a week maybe uh, you'll have to do this maybe even a little bit longer so you guys don't have to worry I will uh, put patched or you know not working in the title uh, once it's not working anymore so yeah um, anyways let's get started the first thing you will need the first two things you will need actually sorry is no, not that. iTunes. Okay, that's the first thing you'll need, obviously. And also a laptop and a cable and your phone. So there are many things you need, but if you have your phone, your computer, your cable, things like that, um, the software is, softwares you will need is the iTunes, you know, have the newest version installed. And also the IPSW. Now, the IPSW comes for different models of the phone, so I actually have a... A1533 model, it's a uh, GSM. Uh, you guys might have some CDMAs, different GSM models, so you guys have actually downloaded the proper model. And I will leave a link in the description where you can download the iOS 8.1.2 Ruby Store files. Uh, like I said, it does come in IPSW, so yeah, if you try to open it, I'm not really sure. Just open up iTunes. So, anyways, once you're on iTunes, as you can see, I'm running iOS 8.1.3. And I want to go back to iOS 8.1.2 to jailbreak. So what I need to do is on Windows, you need to hold the shift key and click left click on check for update. And uh, for Mac, I believe you need to click on options and left click for check for update. So I'm going to do that here. And as you can see, I have the iOS 8.1.2 restore. And what this actually does, since you're going from the check for update, not the restore, if I actually shift and click restore, can have the restore file but I instead I actually want to do the update because I get to save my, um, my all my information and data and things like that so this is actually what I really recommend doing so you just click on that you click open and yes it will update to iOS 8.1.2 pretty obvious and uh, now we have to wait for it to extract the software and install it so I think it's about 10 to 20 minutes. I'm not a hundred percent sure, guys. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when it's finished. All right, guys. So the iOS 8.1.2 has finally finished updating, or should I say downgrading? Um, and as you can see, if you do come up, if you do have this little tab open here, and it says that the new iPhone software version 8.1.3 is available, then you know you've done it right. Just click later if you actually click on the phone and you see that's 8.1.2 you know you've done it right now on the phone itself you will just find kind of the regular iPhone setup and um, you will have to enter your passcode again and it's just gonna you know do the proper last kind of little setup quickly and then you should be good to go so anyways I hope this helped you guys I will be releasing a Taiji jailbreak video I really hope it helps you too. So, um, anyways, that's pretty much it. So, Tim Cookies out.